So I saw your last video, I saw how beautiful your Severums were. Uh oh, so I maybe we can get them and put them in the above ground pond. We cannot leave unless we do the new fish dance. Oh, oh, never seen this fish in any of the local fish stores. The first sprouts, look at all the colors and the variety of koi they have. My birthday gift. Go. Hey, na halanui amaui. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Now, if you're brand spanking new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha. Anytime during this video you feel like hitting that like button, please feel free to hit that like button. And while you're hitting that like button, just go ahead and subscribe, and then you're part of the ohana. All right, so check it out, my ohana. Today is a very very special day and I'm completely honored to share this day with you. Now let me use my creative juices to show you why it's so special. Go Sean, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Go, go, go. Yes, that's right. Today is your boy's birthday. And uh, you know, I don't know if you guys caught that little subliminal message there. Hawaii Five-O. I had to throw it in there. Your boy turns 50 today. Can you believe it? 50 years old. I don't mind telling you guys. I don't care. There's no shame in my game. Okay, so I was in the backyard actually just cleaning the waterfall. Tiki Falls had a bunch of algae. I got rid of all that algae. It's just long green string algae. You just grab it. It all just comes off. Super easy to get rid of. Um, but anyways, it's spring. I think it's spring. It's kind of warm. Yeah, the sun is out. It's kind of warm. It's in the 70s right now in Northern California. And uh, I get a text message. Here it is. It's from my boy Jeff the manager over at Geyser Pets. He actually said, uh, happy birthday. But not only that though, he said he has a birthday gift for me to come on down. So, guess where you guys are going? Yeah, you guys are coming with me back to Geyser Pets. So let's go. <gasps> Boom, just like that, we are here at Geyser Pets in Yuba City. Let's go inside and see Jeff. Here we are, back at Geyser Pets. It just seems like uh, a week ago we were just here. Oh, wait a minute. It was a week ago. Right. Check it out, Ohana. So I don't even think I did Geyser Pets justice on covering any of their reptile enclosures. Look at all the reptile enclosures they have. They have everything from monitors to lizards to geckos to snakes. They even have chameleons too as well, but look at all the enclosures they have. Look at that. Tortoises, turtles, everything. All right guys, so here is the 800 gallon tank. Look at it, still going to town. It's only been about a week. No grass yet, but Stay tuned guys, we're gonna come back when they actually stock this huge community tank. This thing is monstrous, look at that. All right guys, check it out. Right behind me is the above ground pond that they have here with all their koi. They were doing a huge water change on them. Water change is complete. Let's see how they're doing. Look at all the colors and the variety of koi they have. And these koi are not skittish. They definitely think we're gonna feed them. The reason being is because, look it, they have a little feed machine here. You go ahead and put 25 cents in there and get some koi food and then feed the fish. It's actually pretty cool, huh? I love this. One of my favorite features here at Geyser Pets. All right, check it out, Ohana. So I have to show you this fish. It's just very unique. You just never see this fish in any of the local fish stores. Now, I know I just showed it to you guys last week, but I just want to go a little bit more into detail about the world's largest African cichlid. Let's check it All out. All right, guys, so here it is, the emperor cichlid, the largest African cichlid in the world. Lake Tanganyika, beautiful. This thing is about 16, 16 to 18 inches long. Huge, it's a monster fish. It could actually grow up to be three feet, 36 inches in the wild to be exact. Isn't that crazy? And at one point, these fish were on the extinct. I don't even know if they still are. Maybe they're off the extinction list, but they were because the locals were actually fishing for these to eat. That's how big they are. I wonder how they uh, taste. I'm glad they didn't get rid of this fish. This fish is awesome. Maybe we can get them and put them in the above ground pond. Huh? We'll have that pond heated and we can keep this dude. 
It's just the thought, but this is such an awesome, beautiful fish. Very rare, that's why I gotta come back and just see him again. He was in the big 800 gallon tank, the monster tank, and I'm so glad that when they got rid of the fish, they kept this one here, because it's rare, super rare. He's beautiful. Look at these beautiful lionfish. Oh, I love these guys. These guys are beautiful. Shout out to Coach Bob Mack. He used to have one of these in his saltwater tank. Look how pretty. I love the design, the pattern, the color. But not only that though, Apex Predator. Yeah, don't mess with these guys. Don't touch them. Those little barbs at the end, they pack some serious poison. Yeah, they'll give you a nice little sting. Look at them, beautiful. All right, so check it out guys, I gotta show you this. They do have some growth in this big 800 gallon community tank. Look at, right there, the first sprouts of the carpet. Can you guys see that? Those are the first sprouts right there. I try to focus in on them. There we go. Look at them. Imagine this ginormous aquarium, just full, carpet, all the way, from end to end, 800 gallons. They're actually changing out the misters here. And um, yeah, oh my gosh. I just set my hand here. You gotta watch where you put your hands. Look at this guy, this guy was trying to jump at it. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, note to self, don't set your hands on anywhere where you feel uh, a cage like this. I just heard some splashing and this guy was trying to jump up at my hand. Well, oh, that would have been cool. There it is. What is that now? You're loading in the... This is not tea, it's chamomile tea. <laughs> chamomile tea, and that right. is going to get rid of, or has all it been working? Fungus. All the fungus? Working. It still comes back, but we spray it and it's gone for at least two days. So it hasn't gotten to my seeds yet, and that's what matters to me, baby. That's so, right, that's oh, right. Take note, guys. If you guys want to grow a carpet successfully, right there, that's the secret remedy right there. <laughs> That's it, right? A shot for a shot. Chamomile tea, just so you guys know. If you guys want to grow a successful carpet like the way they're doing it here at Geyser Pets in Yuba City, chamomile tea, zero fungus. How, how long have you guys been running the chamomile tea on this, Austin? Like five days. Five days now, huh? Five days on the chamomile tea diet. No fungus. That's awesome. As much moisture as this tank has inside it, that's the move right there. And they got two little sprouts. Just so you guys know, they seeded the whole base of this 800 gallon and they are changing it. It was once a predator tank and they are changing it to a community fish tank. Let's ask uh, Austin what the stock is gonna be. Hey Austin, what's the idea? What are you guys gonna stock this aquarium with? As far as livestock, I mean, the first thing we're gonna start with is like two 400 mono shrimp. Then some neon dwarf rainbow fish or neon dwarf paycocks to start. We're gonna let those breed really fill up. Once it gets more established, we want to add some like breeding pairs of rams, lots of blue rams. Maybe some breeding bushy nose plecos. And then like six months down the line, when everything's really grown out, we want to uh, add some discus. Oh, that's awesome, dude! I could not imagine this 800 gallon tank with discus in it too as well as everything else electric blue rams oh man that's gonna be so sick man thanks austin i was curious and everybody at home were curious what you guys want to stock this with appreciate it so remember when i was here last and i was talking about the wood how i love they put the wood in here with the uh, koi fish well all this wood here is actually going to be going into the big 800 gallon community tank so those big pieces of driftwood are gonna be sticking up at the top of this aquarium, which is gonna look sick, man. It's gonna be like a legit aquascape tank, but just on a larger scale, a full-fledged carpet. They're gonna have a bunch of plants in the back too as well. Oh, I, I just, I can't wait. As we're walking through Geyser Pets, you gotta watch your step because there could be Franklin walking past you the cicada tortoise what's up franklin i know we said hi to you last week but let's say hi to you again what's up buddy what's up buddy he's a beautiful tortoise 20 years old you know the sad thing is about him franklin will outlive me and probably you at home too yeah it's kind of a weird reality check when you're looking at this reptile and you know he's gonna outlive you 
and probably outlive most of the people that work in this store. That's crazy. Sometimes I wish I was a cicada tortoise. Look at him, he's like a little kid. You gotta watch what he does. Look at, he's getting into the dog bones here. <laughs> I wonder if he's even gonna grab one. What's up, Franklin, you want a bone? Have you guys ever seen a tortoise go for a dog bone? Look at him. Jeez, look at him stretch that neck out. Franklin, get your head out of the dog bones. Oh, oh. Oh, my neck! Ouch. <laughs> that piece of cardboard there. Get going, get going, bud. Look at Franklin. Do 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 I swear it's like an amusement park here at Geyser Pets. Got all kind of things happening in here. Alright, so now we are here in the aquatic section at Geyser Pets. And uh let's look for Jeff. Let's see about this uh birthday gift that he has for me. I'm excited. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. I see him right there. There's the legend now. Let's get him. Let's get his candid response here. He has no idea that I showed up. There's my boy. Here he is. What's up, Jeff? How's it going, my man? Oh, hey, happy birthday. Oh, thanks, my man. Hey, so check it out. This is Jeff, the manager here at Geyser Pets, Yuba City, all right? This is the man, the myth, the legend that works here. So come and see him. If you guys are interested on checking out any fish, anything, actually, it's uh, the one-stop shop, like I said, man. So... He actually messaged me and said, come on down, that he has a birthday gift for me. So I I'm excited. I'm probably sure you guys are anxious and want to know what's going on. So uh, Jeff, what did you get me, my man? All right, so I saw your last video. I saw how beautiful your severums were. Uh-oh. So I figure we need to complete the set. So I think, I, think, I think we need to get one of every severum for you, is what I'm thinking. Wait, what? Yeah. So... We weren't able to get all of them. There's a few out there you don't have yet, but okay, wow. we saw these red tigers on the list and thought it would make a perfect birthday present for you. What? A red tiger? Have you guys seen what a red tiger seven looks like? Uh, yeah, I just pause this video, go look it up on YouTube, or maybe look it up on Google. Insane severums. Holy crap, are you serious? Yes, yeah, so we got them in here. You get your pick. Oh my gosh, Whichever I get to pick one. Want. Oh my gosh, man. I don't even. First of all, thank you. Thank you, my man. I really appreciate that, man. Jeff did not have to do this, man. Oh, wow. And I get my pick of Red Tiger Severums. Wow, they're little guys right now, but it's okay. We'd love to grow these out. Um, so you guys know, fun fact, I did get my Red Severum here and my Turquoise Severum here. Robert Van Winkle. Jeff is the one who named them. Vanilla Ice, baby. Wow. Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to pick some. We'll go home. We'll float them. And I'll run some B-roll on... Uh, these beauties you know we cannot leave unless we do the new fish dance cue the music check it out I was just talking to Jeff here about Franklin he's got some great Franklin stories I know you guys at home watch the video and probably think does that guy ever escape out of the store because you guys saw that footage of him almost leaving the store so Jeff tell us some Franklin stories I don't want to make anyone too mad, but he's got he's got a few tickets from Sutter County Animal Control that I have at my desk. What? Are you serious? Yeah, we've had we've had court appearance, appearances because he broke leash laws. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, so so he went out. How far did he escape? I mean, where, did uh, he go out the front doors or the back? He got a ticket because he was one foot on the sidewalk. Oh hell no! <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Gosh. I don't know if you want to put this one in the in the oh, video. Oh no, we this have one to. might just be for you. People at home. I don't need Sutter County know. coming after me. Nah, anymore. he's safe. He's safe. <laughs> Has he ever gone like down the block? Oh yeah, he's made it. He's made it to Chase Bank once. And so, do they call you? Do they know it's from? Yeah, yeah. Really? We've been better now. So. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, so at least they know. We learned how to open a gate, so we had to get a special lock for him. So. Hold up. Serious? Yeah, he's smart. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so a tortoise. Out how to slide it open. Yeah, a tortoise that opens gates. So he was down at Chase Bank. Chase sees him and says, "Hey, I think your guys' tortoise is down here." Franklin, man. So you guys got to get like a um, a dolly. How do you get him back? Oh, muscles, right. my yeah, bad, my harder. bad. It's hey, harder every day. You got to flex on everybody That's out right. there, Jeff. So and then uh, once he got stolen, probably about 10 years ago. Oh, snap. So someone, someone saw stole? him. He was on the sidewalk sunning. Someone saw him get taken and put in the trunk of a car. No And so way. he's missing for like one or two weeks. 
and then we had a customer once. He was in the backyard with the police re- uh-huh. retrieving a stolen boat. And when he was in the backyard, he noticed like a shell in the corner. And he thought, oh, I wonder if that's Geyser. So then he called us. Wow. And he goes, hey, I think this guy stole Franklin, too. That's so, wild. So you guys, so you guys, we sent someone over to go look over the fence, and it was Franklin. You guys press charges, or no? Just, no, just give us our tortoise back. See, they're good people. Just don't steal Franklin, all right? Yeah. And if you want any any trivia too, so when we got him back, he was spray painted. Sadly. What? What? He was spray painted with the word Binky on his back. They named, they renamed Frank. They, uh, they spray Franklin painted Binky. blue Binky on his back. Yeah. Wow. So for like one and a half years. You it's, could see Binky on his back. We couldn't get it off. That's so disrespectful. Now, now, he's, now he's all grown up, grown up, and he's dude, popped those scoots off. And dude, so great out. stories, man. So you guys know a little background about uh, Franklin, yeah. the Cicada tortoise. No relations to John Cicada. All right, so we're right outside the store of Geyser Pets, and I got to give another shout out to Jeff, the entire staff here at Geyser Pets. My birthday gift. This is like the best birthday gift you can ever get for a fish keeper. Oh, but not only that though, you guys may know about the Red Tiger Severum, but he added a bonus birthday gift for me. Whoo! Can't wait to show you guys. All right, let's get home. Ah, just like that, we are home. Underneath the Predator tank is Blue Face Tank. See that down there? My electric blue Jack Dempsey. Now I added these two fish with him. They're doing great, they're doing fine. You guys already know about the Red Tiger Severum that was a surprise for my birthday from Jeff over at Geyser Pets, but he also gave me a bonus fish and you guys have no idea what it is. I'm excited to show you guys, of course. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the fish, all right? So without further ado, hit the B-roll. <sighs> So now we have two electric blue Jack Dempsey's and a red Tiger Severum, which is gonna go in that aquarium right there once it gets a little bigger. Now I'm super excited to see these guys grow up together and I'm glad I can share my birthday day with you guys, the Ohana. Crazy, half a century, man, when you break it down. I think I got some new grays in the goatee here. Woo! Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next video. Once again, thanks again, Jeff, over at Geyser Pets and the whole entire staff. We will do an update on that big 800-gallon community aquascape tank that they're going to do. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.